that uh, uh, remarkable art article by Abraham H. Maslow titled The Creative Attitude, huh? published in 1962. That article begins by this sentence. My feeling is that the concept of creativeness he is the one first use, not creativity, creativeness. Creativity that ITY will imply like a special ability. There is no special ability at all called creativity. You can say writing ability, musical ability, uh, mechanical ability, etc. But uh, there is no single ability in charge of so-called <laughs> creativity. So he is the one who defined that aspect and wanted all creativity researchers to use the concept creativeness. Mm. Okay. So my feeling is that the concept of creativeness and the concept of the healthy, beautiful name, self-actualizing, fully human person seem to be coming closer and closer to the there and may perhaps turn out to be the same thing. That is, creativeness and the healthy, self-actualizing, fully human person. Both are safe. Now he is reading out the, uh, uh, explaining the attributes. Number one, giving up the past. So they are not victims of the past. In good or I have suffered a lot in my life, or uh, I have done this background, I have this, I have that. They are all gone. Only the current now, now, uh, uh, one minute, five o'clock. Five o'clock is gone. Now, especially for five o'clock, the second minute. So, uh, view of the past. Okay, it does not mean that uh, when you try to view of the past, if somebody who tries for it, oh no, no, sir, feel that memory is haunting me. Okay. It does not mean that we will become incapable of memory. Memory function is intact. For a creative person, he will remember whatever is required. So giving up the past meaning, uh, sort of uh, what our Indian mystics say, so-called detachment. Yes, that's a fact, but uh, I don't belong to that. It is not a return anywhere. Okay. Let us see if I can go there. Second point is equally giving up the future. No. Uh, can you explain what could be possibly giving up the future? Worrying about the future. No, no, Wor worrying about the future, whether this or that will happen. Yeah. In fact, the great majority of people in the world, they are all worried mostly because of their concern for the future including the results of uh, having done something in the past. For example, I have taken a loan without considering the possibilities of paying it back. Now how you have to pay back? Okay. Or I should not have done that. I have to face this. Including that. Giving up the future. Plus, uh, certain people are driven by certain greedy desires also. Certain people. Like I want to be a politician, I want to be Number one in business, number one in popularity, number one this, number one that, etc. That's all based on the society. You cannot be an original disorder. Original, no, original mind. What is an original mind? Because it is not that mind is something newly installed in you. The potential for mind was there in, in the embryo. By the 90th day, the embryo develops the brain more or less fully and it can register the impressions of feelings and emotions and serious thoughts of the very mother. So mind begins from there. But that mind without any of the recordings, without any impressions, or without being affected by or, uh, or blocked by the impressions is called the original mind. So for that original mind, none of this matters. In this. One, two, three. One, two. 
वन गिविंग ऑफ द फर्स्ट टू गिविंग ऑफ द सेकंड थ्री इनसेंस दे आर काइंड ऑफ इनसेंट पीपल मींस नो नो हाइड होर्स नो 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 बैक बाइटिंग नो क्लावर कंसीलिंग ऑफ फ्लाइस एंड नो चीटिंग नो मैनिपुलेशन नो इमिटेशन नो टिंगरिंग एनीबॉडी लाइक इन इनसेंट पीपल Innocent meaning, there is that quality, overall quality of a little child. Let's say you must have read somewhere, creativity, or even creativity, literature also, once in a while talk about it. Creativity is like hardness, it's a childlike quality, not childishness, childlike qualities. It includes that innocence of the child, because it was not uh, yet trained to be political and manipulative and all this. Innocence. <coughs> Third one is, it is increasingly becoming common, capable of narrowing of consciousness. Capable of narrowing. Narrowing of consciousness. Consciousness. That means uh, uh, when they are uh, uh, interested in something, inspired about something, their consciousness is fully uh, coloured by that inspiration. It is almost uh, most of the time creativeness is compared to. A guy in romantic relationship. Mm-hmm. When somebody, as in some Tamil film show, somebody is just a workshop mechanic, okay, so born in some very alien, you know, stupid background, but he falls in love with a so-called rich, educated girl. In fact, there is a famous film Vijay, Jagadish, in Tamil film. Ah, what was this? Hmm. And. Uh, mm, Once he is in that love, all the time thinking about girl, that girl only. You know? oh, in the sleep, in the during eating, during playing, during walking, and during oh, 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 in the classroom, all the time the consciousness is narrowed upon, you know? narrowed upon that girl. All the time reflecting on how to get her, etc. So I am just giving a metaphoric example of narrowing of consciousness. Okay. Uh, uh, so he is uh, uh, giving a little bit of explanation. Uh, very important here is our lessened awareness of other people, particularly relevant, I would say, in India and in Kerala. <laughs> Everybody's uh, most of the worries and concerns are sort of uh, corrupted by what other people will think about me. How will I be appearing before this? What they will think it's a person. Most of the people really study well, not to prove for the before the others. Only. Their goals are defined by fame, acceptance, recognition, etc. By the others. Don't mistake it. Eh? A creative person will hope to do wonders. He will sit sleepless for days and months and years together. As if he is greedily after a goal. No, no, no. That's why he is focused on something. His existence is to exist. So when you have a, a, a goal, uh, uh, just like that, I suppose originated in you to become uh, a top lawyer in a land. Okay, that is not to show other people, or that should not be to show to other people. Then this also because. The greatest cause of our alienation, suppression from our real self, is our neurotic involvement with other people. That all you don't understand because you do not know clinical psychology. A lot of people are neurotically involved with other people. Neurotically meaning uh, disadvantageously involved with other people. Maybe by love affair, maybe by hatred. Hatred is the strongest problem. Even. Concern and love is not that much. No? Then historical hangovers from childhood, irrational transferences—they are all psychological terms. You don't have to go to that deeper level, etc. So the point is, uh, you are capable of narrowing your consciousness. That's why when somebody in romantic love, we can see in feelings so open eyes, and the other guy comes and says, Uh, where are you? Because his eyes are wide open, but he is seeing the other girl. He saw in the temple ground. Okay, 